Hey family, welcome back. I am Marshawn Olanio, your favorite relationship strategist, and I help Christian women that are married or in long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and unloved and shift them to feeling heard, understood, and appreciated. Now, if you are looking for someone to help you through the trials, tribulations, and struggles, right? You just don't know where to begin to turn your relationship around, then definitely reach out to me. Look down in the description box below and look for my link to get on my um, calendar for a free coaching conversation, a free 30 minute coaching conversation. So I can help you break down one thing to help you turn your relationship around. I look forward to speaking with you. And if for some reason you don't want to do that, it's easier to send an email, then that email is down in the description box below. It is Marshawn at MarshawnOlanio.com. I look forward to speaking to you. So now we're going to continue our series of behaviors of, right? So today's video, we're talking about the behaviors of cheaters. Yes. So the behaviors of cheaters today. Now, if you, this is your first time coming into this series, then definitely go out go and check out my other three videos about behaviors of and so we have one on liars one on blamers and one on pathological excuse me psychological abusers so go ahead and check those out after you've checked this one out here today so now let's go ahead <clears throat> excuse me and jump in to the behaviors of cheaters the first thing that you need to be conscious and watch out for right because really what we're doing is we're breaking down the red flags and i'm getting i'm getting so many clients right to ask me what should they be looking for right and is this a red flag so i want to really break these things down before you get into that relationship before you have to deal with drama after the fact now here's the thing most people deal with drama after the fact so if this is you don't feel bad okay what we're trying to do is clean up and or shift your relationship shift your relationship from where it is today to where you really want it to be tomorrow but all of that is you being aware you being conscious of how you're showing up because and also remembering that you only have control over you there is nothing that you can do or say to change your partner or spouse into doing something that they don't want to do i.e trying to manipulate them into doing something for the betterment of you for the betterment of the relationship because each of us have to make a choice we have to decide to be better we have to decide to show up for our spouse but mainly for ourselves first and so we have to worry about our own integrity and and the the way that we want to show up in our love life it literally is a choice day in and day out so you don't have control and i'm really making sure that i make it a point to say that specifically for this video here because so many women specifically i'm sure men do this as well but i really see it so much in women where they're where they're like now now they're going down this rabbit hole of what did i do wrong how could i have been better i should have lost them 20 pounds etc 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 when a person is a cheater it is a choice that they have made yes women cheat as well as men so this is not a gender thing right even if you hear me harp on one it's really just for the flow of the language more than anything it's not because i believe that men cheat more than women because actually research is showing that it's about even okay now let's be clear it's about even right so with that being said one of the first things that you want to watch out for for um the behaviors of a cheating partner is that they become really good about lying about the little things like each time he or she opens up their mouth they're literally breaking the trust over and over and over again but this alone might not be the sign that he or she is a cheater right because he or she really could be a, a compulsive liar and i just just spoke about that in the behaviors of liars so check that out after you listen to this one right so alone he or she just could be a compulsive liar so that does not mean that he or she is cheating which brings me to point number two one of the red flags that he or she is a cheater is that they constantly accuse you of cheating when in fact they are the cheater themselves right so all of their suspicions per se that they have about you being the cheater it's really because they are cheating themselves and so in order to get the lens off of them, the magnifying glass off of them, they want you to go a little crazy thinking, why is he thinking that I'm cheating, right? Because now you're focused on that instead of 
him or her being the cheater. Now, let me know if that makes sense down in the comment section below, right? Because I want to make sure that you are gathering this and it's not just out here floating around. I want something to really make sense to you. So let me know down in the comment section below. The third thing is that you two got together as a result of one of you cheating or being the cheater, I should say, right? So your partner was in a relationship. You quote unquote took him or her from a previous relationship, right? And so now you two have gotten together as a product of one of you being the cheater prior to. So that is something that you definitely should watch out for, for sure. Because if he or she did it prior to you, they can do it again. Now, does that all automatically mean that he or she will? No, it does not. But it heightens the fact that it could be true because of past behaviors. So that still does not mean 100% that he or she is going to do it, but there still is a chance because that's how y'all got together. So you need to pay attention to the past. The past does not have to write the future, but you should be paying attention, especially if the, the behaviors and the way that you're showing up is the same as it was when you decided to accept, <laughs> accept the mission, okay? Meaning the cheating mission. So if you're still showing up the same way, if your behaviors are still the same, you still look at life and love and, and your uh, um, relationships and even the opposite sex the same, then you have a tendency, a higher tendency to still be on the cheating path or about to do some cheating, right? But that doesn't mean that every person that cheated in the past will cheat in the future because the very thing about everything is, and cheating is no different. If you never get to the re root cause, as to why you cheated, you will cheat again, right? You have to get to the root cause of why you started doing that. And again, this is all the behaviors of lying, right? Abusive, you got to get to the root cause of why your partner and or yourself is like that in order to decrease significantly the chances that it will happen again. All right, so moving forward. Number four online and phone activity has changed, right? This is like a classic example. I've seen this a few times, right? I've seen it a few times, I heard it a few times, and <laughs> it's harder to tell with women, and let me just be really, really frank with this. It's harder to tell with women if they are cheating based off of their activity on their phone. But nine times out of 10, men, mess up in this arena literally they become sloppy they become complacent and all of a sudden because they've never gotten caught before this is when they get caught right because the behaviors change i remember when um i was in my first marriage and my ex-husband started coming home and um changing clothes and putting on cologne and that's not a big deal but the point is that he started changing his behavior and the behavior was this before he was doing that um he would go to the pool hall and just play pool in his work clothes and then come home and then i noticed that he was coming home changing you know freshening up cologne and everything and then going to the pool hall see that that was different from how you started and so i didn't say anything but i did notice the behavior and that's one of the things that most women will do We'll collect the evidence right we don't have to say everything and some some are not um as well versed in this as I, others but if you really want to get some data because men are also known to only answer that one question and not go further like women we give a lot more details when we're answering a question men say yes and no unless you ask follow-up questions most of the time most men right so the point is their behaviors usually change more significantly in the men than they do in the women. However, it's still going to be a behavior change in some capacity, definitely with their online activity as well as their phone activity, or maybe they're hush hushing in the other room or whenever you walk in, all of a sudden they're getting off the phone. Like again, the point is that the behavior change, whatever that behavior is, it, it's not the norm. And all of a sudden you're doing something else. That's when you really need to start paying attention. Right. And then the fifth and final thing is that they are suddenly unreachable. You used to call him at lunchtime. He or she would answer all the time. Now, all of a sudden you have a hard time reaching him or her. 
or y'all used to go out on dates all the time literally meet up and do x y and z and all of a sudden now they're too busy to meet you anymore again that's a behavior or change right so just pay attention to the things that are right in front of you take the rose colored glasses off and actually see the person for who he or she actually is in front of you instead of who you want them to be accept your relationship for what it is because the only way if you're deciding to stay with a person that has cheated on you or has lied to you or has abused you in any way the choice is yours number one but then number two now you have to walk in your decision and not punish your partner for your decision i love you guys there's nothing that you can do about it my name is marshawn olanio and i help christian women that are married or in long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and unloved and shift you to feeling her understood and appreciated again i will mention if you need some help in this arena definitely go ahead look down in the comment section excuse me in the description box below and look for the link to sign up for my free 30-minute coaching conversation. I love you guys, and there's nothing that you can do about it. And I will see you in the next Behaviors of video. Bye now.